Hello everybody and welcome back. A dear friend of mine is making a movie and he asked me, is it possible to have some control panels that are uh, self-contained and light up and you can, you can move them around in different places on set? And I thought, you know, it is possible. I'm going to show you how I went about making them right here on the Old Ted channel. Here are vacuform poles I had. These are made out of styrene plastic. Um, I made them out of wood and had these vacuum form. What we're going to do with these today is I'm going to make these into inexpensive, quickly control panels. And how am I going about doing this? My plan is to um, take a Sharpie, draw some lines and drill some holes. Because I went out to CBS. Of course, after Christmas, there was a little bit of a sale and I was able to buy these really inexpensive lights. This is kind of cool for a battery pack. They're rigged up and they blink. So my plan is I'm going to plot out some holes, drill them and hot glue these lights behind them. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead, drill my holes first and possibly paint them. So let's just do this first. Let's drill some holes. Do some marks where I'm gonna put these holes, try to keep them symmetrical. Now, I'm gonna make a drill every Sharpie mark I've made for my control lights. All right, got my holes all drilled. Now I want to get rid of this annoying black Sharpie mark. <clears throat> now the things with Sharpie, I'm sure you probably know, is that you want to take this off of anything before you paint it because Sharpie has a tendency just to leach right through the paint. Even in cosplay, if you have foam armor and you have, leave some Sharpie marks and you paint it, that stuff will leach up right through the paint. So before I paint these, definitely take all this Sharpie off. Oh, I'm using a denatured alcohol and a paper towel. That seems to work pretty well. Take this right off the plastic. Now the Sharpie's been removed. I got a little bit of a, sandy, a foam sanding block, uh, fine grit, and I'm just going to go through on this plastic and rough this up because it'll, it'll help, this, help the paint really stick to the plastic. The plastic's really smooth. Now granted, I could paint on top of this, but I always found with something super glossy and smooth, it kind of scrapes off. So to help make sure that paint really bites, I'm going to go back in with the sanding block and get it all roughed up. Okay, everything's been sanded, the holes are drilled. Now for these to hang up on the wall, I wanna put a little bit of a spacing behind these for the lights and the battery. So I got cut out uh, some PVC board and I cut one inch strips. I'm going to go ahead and cut them and glue them on the back. All right, run down a little bead of super glue. Drop on my piece of uh, PVC board. This is where kick your accelerator. I like the needle bottles better so you don't spray it all in your hands. You just do a little drop. It activates the glue instantly. All right. Get it. Drop a little super glue in the corners. There we go. Pinch it shut. Get my kicker. All right. I got both panels done. I got my uh, PVC board glue on the edges, which makes a nice little tray. Uh, the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead I want to color, I went through my spray booth and all I could really find is a nice good gray base. This is a Rust-Oleum Automotive, uh, self filling primer, this is good, nice neutral gray. I'll use that as our base color. So I'm going to go ahead and warm this stuff up and let's go ahead and put a base color on both these. While the primer is drying, uh, I went through the bin, I found a whole bunch of stickers and things I've had from previous projects and I figured kind of decorate these guys up. I have some uh, letters, I got some pin, automotive pinstriping, got some labels from I think fire extinguishers or something we had from some different shows, uh, little keypads from prop phones, little stickers. So I'm going to go through this pile and we can just kind of decorate these things. All right, got the stickers on there. This does not look half bad. This is great. Now this one's done, let's move on to number two. Okay, we got this one done. Now the next step is to, I want to uh, lay these down face down. So hold on, I'm gonna get a towel because I just painted these, I'm gonna scratch them up. Now to get ready to install our lights. Let's turn these on for a second so I can see where I'm at. Great. The plan is I'm going to place the bulb over the hole I've drilled and just hot glue around it. I'm just going to dab a little bit of hot glue. And then we do the other side. 
All right, got the lights placed. They're all secured in with the hot glue. Now, originally I was going to use some, some Velcro, but I kind of popped in my head that this is going to hang on the walls. I don't want this battery pack to fall around. So I just cut a piece, a PVC board in the corner, and just glued it in there. And the battery pack just drops right in there. It's perfect. So this won't fall out when they hang it. You have access to the switch. Let's turn it on. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> hey, look at that. That actually turned out better than it has a right to. Mission accomplished. Self-contained control panels. It's cool. They got blinky lights, self-contained battery supply, the lightweight that can hang them. So now when he's shooting his movie, he can put these anywhere on set. Everything I use in this bill, I have links for below the video. And to add bonus to this is that I'm going to give these guys away on eBay. I have a link for it below the videos. Definitely guys come in, put a bid on it. You too can have one of these control panels hanging the wall of your house. Let me take this time to let you guys know I will be at Emerald City Comic Con this year. I'm really excited. I will not have a booth. I'll be walking around. If you guys spot me, please say hello. And I also would like to announce I will be at All Con in Texas in March. I'm super thrilled. And there I will have a booth with all my merchandise. Super excited, guys. I'm looking forward to seeing everybody there. Thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you back next time right here on the Evil Ted channel.